Namaskar buddies. In today's video, we're going to explore some really interesting economic concepts like public and private goods, quasi public goods and a surprise concept at the end of the video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Firstly, let's know what public and private goods are. Now, say you go to a shop and you buy a notebook. Out of 10, you buy two notebooks. So, the next person who wants to buy the books will only have eight books to choose from. This means the good is rival. Consumption of the product by one person reduce the chances of consumption of the product by another person. Also, if a person doesn't has the money to pay for the notebook, they won't be able to enjoy it. This means that it is an excludable good. These are the characteristics of private goods. They are products which are both rival and excludable. Now, public goods are totally opposites of private goods. They are financed by taxation and provided by the government. For example, street lights, the chances of one person enjoying street lights doesn't decrease if another person is using it. Hence public goods are non-rival. It is also not possible to exclude non-taxpayers from taking advantage of street lights. Hence they are non-excludable. However, these are often called impure public goods as they only satisfy these two criteria to a certain extent. Then what are pure public goods? To unravel the mystery, keep watching till the end of the video. Now, I have a question. Imagine a public beach. Now, it is definitely non-excludable as non-taxpayers can also enjoy it. However, if the beach gets crowded, it does reduce your chance of enjoying it as there won't be enough space for you to sit or play. So, we can say it is rival. So what are these goods called? Yes, you guessed it right. They are called quasi public goods. Goods that have some but not full characteristics of public goods. Another example of quasi public goods is toll roads. People who pay for the road may use it, which makes toll roads excludable. However, it is non-rival, as it doesn't reduce another traveler's chance from using it. Now, pure public goods. They are goods that have non-rival and non-excludable characteristics forever, unlike impure public goods. The examples are official statistics, free roads, TV and radio broadcasts. Sometimes pure public goods, like law enforcement or defense, can also be non-rejectable, meaning it is not possible for people to reject their services. That's all for today. Do you want to know about demerit and merit goods? That two under two minutes. Click here to know more about it. New economic concepts every week. Thanks for watching.